Press the power button to turn the unit on. If this is the first time turning it on, the unit will start in DAB mode and perform a full scan. To switch to the different functions, press the mode button. The wrong name, I ask you. To adjust the volume, turn the rotary dial in the centre. Is that right? <laughs> it's not Hulians. No, Sam Hewan. On the show after 8.30 today and the QILs. To turn the unit off, press the power button. To charge the unit, find the USB micro connector at the back. Insert the USB micro cable connected to a powered USB port on a USB charger or computer. The red light will turn on during charging and turn off when the unit is fully charged. Please disconnect the charging cable when the unit is fully charged. When charging, the battery icon will indicate it is charging when the screen is turned on. By default, the unit is set to automatically update the time and date. However, you can set this up manually if you wish. Press and hold the menu button to go into the menu, and use the arrow buttons to scroll to system. Scroll to time and press enter. Press enter on set time and date. Set the hour with the arrow keys and press enter. Repeat this process for the minute, the day, the month, and finally the year. Repeatedly press the back button to exit the menu. To use the DAB function, press the mode button until DAB is displayed. If this is the first time using the DAB, the unit will perform a full scan of DAB radio stations. To change stations, use the arrow buttons to scroll through the channels. If you know the frequency of a station, you can search for it by using the manual tune function. Scroll to manual tune in the menu and press enter. Use the arrow keys to scroll through the DAB frequencies and press the enter button to connect to that frequency. The signal strength will be displayed on the screen. To adjust the DRC settings, press and hold the menu button and use the arrow buttons to scroll to DRC and press enter. The current DRC setting is indicated by an asterisk. Select DRC low, high or off using the arrow buttons and press enter. To prune stations with no signal reception in the DAB list, press and hold the menu button to go into the menu. Use the arrow buttons to scroll to prune and press enter. Use the arrow buttons to select yes and press enter to start the prune function. To get the best reception for the radio, extend the antenna found at the back. To use the FM radio on the unit, press the mode button until FM radio is displayed. To change the frequency, press the arrow buttons. To scan stations, press and hold either arrow button to scan in that direction. I hear the respirator next to me. I think it's coming. That's 
what my mind feels like today. <laughs> How are you? Midweek point. Thanks to, to scan all the stations and store them into the presets. Uh, Press and hold the scan button. A sweep of the FM frequency range will be performed and stations found will be stored in the presets. To change the scan setting, press and hold the menu button and press enter on scan setting. The current setting will be indicated with an asterisk. Use the arrow keys to change the scan setting and press enter to save. Whether the unit is in FM or DAB mode, the unit has 30 preset slots for each mode. To save the currently playing frequency to a preset slot, press and hold the preset button. Choose the preset slot to save to with the arrow buttons and press enter to save to that slot. To recall a preset, press the preset button once. Choose the preset slot to recall and press enter. To use the Bluetooth function, press the mode button until Bluetooth is displayed. If your device is not connected already, look for it in the device's Bluetooth list and pair it. You can use the buttons on the unit to control the music. Press the arrows to skip the song. Press the enter button to pause and resume the playback. You can disconnect the unit either from your device or by pressing and holding the enter button on the unit. To use the aux in function, press mode until auxiliary mode is displayed on the screen. You can find the connection to the auxiliary input at the back of the unit. Make sure the device you are connecting has a 3.5mm connection. Insert the 3.5mm cable into the aux in connection. You can now play music on the unit. Control the volume either on your device or on the unit. Use the other controls on your device.